Hi there, welcome to Active Message to Myself. Let's look at these three linear equations. We are going to implement matrix rules using Octave. So here are our equations. As you can see them, three of them, they each have a number in front of a variable. So we have one X plus one Y plus one Z, it's equals to six. And then we have one X minus one Y plus one Z, it's equals to two. We also have one X, plus 2y minus 1z is equals to 2. There's a nice metric law that says ax is equals to b. In this case, a will be the first part of the equation before the equation sign, and b will be everything after the equation sign. To solve this using octave, this is what you're going to do. You are going to write down for yourself, I did for myself nicely, it's not a must. I just wrote down what I'm working with, this is my equations, and I Notice that I placed the percentage sign in front of the equations. Placing the percentage sign in front of the equations simply means Octave should not um, calculate everything here. You are just making notes. Secondly, I am going to write down my A. Notice the vector for A is equals to 1, 1, 1, colon, 1, 1, 1, semicolon, 1, 2, negative one. Notice the negative signs as well. You need to write down everything as it is. For my B, I am going to write down everything here and we are dealing with a column vector. So it is um, six semicolon two semicolon two. Notice A that it's row column row. Spacing so commas basically means row vectors and semicolons represent the column vectors. B, we are basically dealing with column vectors. That's why we used semicolon, semicolon, two, two. Let the solution be equals to X. Using octave to solve this, you can say X is equals to M A multiplied by B, the inverse of A, or you can use this backward slash to represent inverse. If you run this file on editor section, everything will be solved on your command windows.